Welcome back to WebAPA Tutorials. In the previous video, we have generated database and tables using Entity Framework code. But we have generated the table without any data. So in this video, let us learn how to add default data when we are migrating table. Okay, so add default data to tables in Entity Framework code first approach. So this is the code we have written and so this is the table so you can see this is the table we have generated let me execute it there is no data it is empty table so let us add some data to it so to add the data so to seed the data here we need to override one method protected override so on model creating this is the method we need to override This is the method we need to override. So here model builder dot. So what is our entity name? Student. Student is our entity dot has data. So to this method we need to pass the data. So new list of student so this is a list to this list we need to create student data student name equal to uncut comma what are the fields other fields address India. So let me add one after other. Address, email, and date of birth. Twelve, twelve. Okay, that's the default data. I have added one record. Let me add one more record. So this is the second record, second Nehant So I have added two records So I have created the list Into the list I have created first record and second record Okay after adding this data we need to execute two commands what are those two commands we have discussed that in previous video first command is add migration so go to package manager console select your correct project then add migration so what is your migration name add data to students table that's my migration migration is completed it has generated the migration files so you can see if you want to remove execute it is saying use this command remove migration okay so can we remove the migration so you can remove the migration but make sure that you are very clear about what you are doing so if you are clear about the migration you can use this command otherwise so never try to do that so once we have uh, created the file so this is the migration file created so you can see here so it is prepared a command prepared a method to execute the data on sql server what is the table we wanted to add this data to students table what are all the columns will be affected these are all the columns and what is the data this is the data okay so migration is very good so if something goes wrong it will use this method to remove the data so this is the second migration we are doing you can see the migration folders there is a new migration file added plus okay so let us update the database okay we have used the first command and what is the second command update database 
build started build succeeded and the data updated to database let's go to database and execute it you can see there are two records added you can see there are two records added this is how we can add data using entity framework code first approach so what we did we have overridden the on model creating method inside context class we have used has data method to add our data okay that's it For more videos like this, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.